is the machine learning assessment on linkedin platform worth it well i don't know i'm going to talk about this topic in this video so let's get started couple of days back i was going through one of the channels on youtube well i was not going through his channel i was going through my youtube feed list and uh, then i came across this video where mr kenji was talking about the same topic that is machine learning assessment on linkedin platform worth it or not i went and checked out his channel i checked out his video and then i got to know that well i have to check it out machine learning assessment is available on linkedin i personally know that linkedin has so many assessments on various programming languages on python on scala on java on machine learning they do have or not i didn't knew about it so it was kind of a eye opener for me i checked out his video where kenji has uh, talked about the examination that this examination is having like 15 questions and uh, the 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 level of questions are not up to the mark of linkedin because we all admire linkedin right linkedin google facebook these are all the top brands now talking about the assessments i that's what he told that the quality of questions were not great so what i did was i immediately went through the examination so if you haven't gone through the examination you can go to your profile scroll down and go to your skills once you are at the skills part you can see there will be an option like take skill quiz click on it go to all and then start searching for machine learning now why this badge is important let me talk about that because most of you might be thinking kya bol raha hai like ye kyu chahiye like why do we need this badge so as you know linkedin is a multi talented platform right there are so many things on linkedin you post you like you share your feelings you share your emotions you apply for jobs you connect with people around the world so a lot of things are there on linkedin and majorly people use it for job platform right we apply for jobs and that candidature the job profile sorry your candidate profile goes to the hrs right now when you take such assessments by linkedin you get a badge and when you have a badge you have an upper edge on other participants let's say 100 people have applied for it if you are one of those 10 people who have the badge definitely it will have an impact on the recruiter that oh this guy is machine learning qualified on linkedin which means he must be great well that's not the fact we'll we'll talk about this examination click on machine learning as you can see on the screen that i just i was just going through a couple of days back i took this exam yesterday itself and i luckily passed it in order to pass this examination you need to be in the top 30% so if you 100 people have applied for it you have to be in the top 30 simple and you can see the amount of people that have taken this test are 762000 that's crazily high numbers luckily i was in the top 5% that doesn't really matter that i know machine learning more than you guys it's not like that you could know more than me anybody can know more than more than me so let's not talk about that however i got a badge I cannot show you the questions right now but I have captured some of the questions and some of the questions will be popped up here 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 on the screen right and you can see that the level of questions are not up to the mark come on nobody asks this question like where do we have to use decision trees where do we have to use random forest so when i went through this examination it had 15 questions for each question you get around 90 seconds to answer and all the questions were purely theoretical so that is one of the reasons why kenji talked about that this video this exam is not worth it it's not up to the linkedin standards come on linkedin look at your competitors look at google look at uh, some other competitors like microsoft Microsoft well LinkedIn is by Microsoft itself if i'm not wrong i am talking about google google has has its own certification right uh, google has its uh, tensorflow certification google has its data analytics certification and those certification exams 
are credible google tells that if you are google data analytics certified you can find a job in google that means you are qualified that certificate is worth it people prepare for those examinations and then give their uh, give the exams and they are worth it now looking at linkedin looking at linkedin's status coming from uh, like it's a big giant company everybody knows that right so the level of examination was not up to the mark so that's a request in case linkedin watches this video or kenji's video i would request linkedin to come up with some more theoretical aspects of machine learning because earning a badge just by answering few theoretical questions doesn't prove that you are a machine learning engineer or you know machine learning and many people have gone through this assessment many people have badges and there must be some potential candidates who are not aware of this they don't have badges so they they might be failing in this examination you know, race right so it's not fair enough so that's my whole point of view and uh, yeah talking about certifications i can also list down some of the certifications in the field of data science and analytics which you need to go through and which are credible and kind of accepted in the industries you can check out in the description below i i have stated the top 5 certifications as per me that's my com- that's my views okay my opinions and talking about linkedin uh, platform well there are so many uh, skills so many quizzes that you can go through python programming language r scala a lot of programming skills are also there you can go through them in case you want to enroll for it that's all about this particular video just wanted to create an awareness about this particular topic that is linkedin's machine learning assessment worth it or not my stake will be it's not worth it even same with kenji in case you don't know about kenji i will be leaving his channels link in the description below so that you can follow him and uh, well he's a he's a data scientist and a great youtuber with 180k followers not even closer to him so let's not talk about so uh, come on uh, so that's it from this particular video if you have any concerns you know where to go comment section guys and any requirement videos requirement anything if you have any questions any doubts uh, rather than going to stack overflow come to my channel and post it in the comment section i go through each and every comment so your comments if they have questions it will be answered if they have requests on specific topics you will get the videos okay that's all from my side guys thank you it was a uh, nice having this uh, video on this particular topic uh, please like share and subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get notified on my future videos that's it guys thank you bye